Hey Adventures, today is another tag video. This is the Buddy Reed tag. I was tagged several months ago now, probably close to five or five, probably close to five months, maybe six months ago now, and that is the Buddy Reed tag. I think I mentioned that. I was tagged by Liam from Liam's Lyceum. Let's get into these questions. I haven't written out answers for these questions. I've written out the questions and I don't really know what the question or what my answers are gonna be, so I'll be thinking of, through those as I go. Accountability, do you like Buddy Reads? Yes, I do actually. I like the, specifically a buddy read, reading something at the same time as somebody else, less so. I don't, I mean, I don't dislike that by any means, I just, that's not what I like. I like being able to discuss books with people that have read them or are currently reading them or whatever it is. I like to be able to have that discussion at the same time. Sharing. Is there an ideal sized group for buddy reads? Ideal? Not that I know of. As many people as want to join is great. The more people you have in a discussion, the better it is. The more different opinions and thoughts and outlooks and perspectives you get on things, and that's that's a great way for a discussion to happen. Duration. Are shorter or longer works better for buddy reads? I think this depends on who you are buddy reading with. I really have no issue with long books, and I, in fact, I really like long books. So I have, if I'm buddy reading with myself or with somebody like me, then yeah, I've got no issue with having a longer book. At the same time, having shorter books means you can have shorter, uh, oftentimes a longer book you have to spread out between multiple months because it's so long you need more time just because of how much of a commitment it is and how many other books you're still trying to read and trying to get through and whatever else it might be. So oftentimes shorter books make it so that the buddy read time frame can be a little bit shorter which then helps people continue going. So I think I think it depends on the person and I think it depends on your schedule at the moment, but generally I like I like long books, so I have no issue with long buddy reads. Community. There are many types of readers share a meeting of minds. I'm not entirely sure what this question is asking. I guess a meeting of like yeah, I, I am not entirely sure what that means. Maybe yeah. Uh, that, that's about the best answer that I can give. I, d I don't know what this question is asking for. What does it mean by a meeting of minds? Um, is that like a discussion that I was a part of or something? Because if that's the case, the only discussion that I have directly really been a part of would be our discussion with Ramsey from Rajathon about the Count of Monte Cristo that we did back in, I want to say May was when we did that discussion and that was really fun. So if that's what you're talking about, that's my answer for that. If not, there's, I mean, we have a Discord server. I'm part of the Wizardly Duo Discord server. I'm part of David Wiley's Discord server. There's several others that I'm part of as well. All of those are meetings and, or a place to, for the community to gather and to talk more so than they can really do in the comment section on a YouTube video. So if that's what they're looking for, then I guess those, I don't know. I, I'll have all, a link to all of those in my description, by the way. Perspectives. There are many types of readers. Share a difference in perspective. Okay, this one I actually understand a little bit more of what they're asking. I am going to go... Difference in perspective. Well, there's there's so many ways that this answer can be... Or this question can be answered. Is it if you want to go with a book that I liked that somebody else didn't or that somebody else liked that I didn't? Or you can go with the fact that I'm in Alaska, so I have a very different perspective than somebody from down in the lower 48 states, or from, I know, several booktubers in Great Britain and Scotland, and, but that difference in location is causes a very different look and perspective, or a different, very different perspective. Also, my worldview, I'm a Christian, and so that heavily influences my perspective on the books that I read, and whether I like them, or whether I dislike them, or whether I like certain aspects but not other, you know, there's so m many different ways that you can look to at what perspective you're looking or at a difference in perspective because there's, you really have to, it really need the question needs to be a little bit more focused on a specific type of perspective that you're seeking. If it's, for example, a book that you like that somebody else didn't like, that's a very obvious, easy to answer perspective, kind of. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna leave that one at that. Really, any time you are meeting with, talking with anybody else about the same book, you will get a difference in perspective because the two people, no two people are alike. So there will be differences in their perspective. So 
I, I mean, that's, that's really the best I can answer on that one. Challenges. Share a private or public challenge to read out of your comfort zone. Well, okay. So, my comfort zone, I'm very, very comfortable with fantasy. I love high fantasy. Like, that's what's comfortable to me. I'll, if I need a comfort read, I'll go read a fantasy. So, definitely that. I love historical fiction. I love history. I love so much of these other... I love the classics. There's so much that could also be considered my comfort zone, but it's harder for me to read. Um, so I will specifically say medieval literature. Past several months I've been reading quite a bit of medieval literature and I've been loving it. For anybody who's followed really the Discord server is where I mention it the most, um, but I have been taking a Arthurian literature class where I read medieval Arthurian tales. It's been amazing, it's been so much fun. Before that I had read Song of Roland and I had, well I had started reading the Gallic War and that one I was really enjoying but it was just too much. I had, I had to set it down in order to be able to focus on my other stuff. Just, it's dense. It, you, you have to be able to put some thought into it if you want to enjoy it and understand it and I wasn't able to do it at the moment. I was also trying, I tried to read uh, Beowulf but I had to put that one down for the same reason. I just, I couldn't focus on it. My mind was just so inundated with Lamar d'Arthur which is phenomenal but I needed something a little bit more comfortable for me to read and so I, I would say uh, medieval literature is something that's a little bit outside my comfort zone not because I'm uncomfortable reading it mostly because I am not as versed in reading it and I can't quite read it with the same ease that I can high fantasy something like that so I guess that would be my private challenge to read out read out of your comfort zone would be for me to read more medieval literature and for you to do so as well if you find that something that you're not comfortable with because there's a lot of great medieval literature I found. Events. What is your favorite reading event and why? I don't really tend to participate in a ton of reading events like this. The one thing that I would say is probably I have a goal to every year read The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. I usually try and read The Hobbit in December and The Lord of the Rings in January, February, March-ish. So some, something along those lines. So I would say that that's probably my favorite reading event is getting to, once December hits and I'm able to allow myself to reread The Hobbit once again because it's such a great book. It's it's easily between The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, though that's my favorite book of all time. It just depends which one it is, which one it is at the moment. So Tolkien being my favorite author, The Hobbit and or The Lord of the Rings being my favorite book of all time. Just, and then having a set goal to reread it every day, starting in December, it's really the only event that I participate in and I love it so much. Can't stop. A booktober you have buddy read the most with. I think, I'm trying to think, at the moment I have done one, two, three, okay, so I think it is officially David Wiley at the moment. Um, I have buddy read, read one thing and that was The Count of Monte Cristo with Ramsey from Rajathon. It was so much fun. I loved that. But then with David Wiley I've read or we tried to buddy read uh, She by H. Ryder Haggard, that one we kind of both set down. It wasn't wasn't for us at the moment. I, I would like to get back to it, but I, I needed a break from it. We also read The Song of Roland. I'm trying to think what else. I think maybe we'd done, we, well, I mean, I tried to participate in his read along uh, or buddy read of Beowulf, like I already mentioned that earlier. Um, so I think I've participated in two or three. I'm currently participating in the Wheel of Time read-along that Captured in, in Words is holding. Not really actively because they're currently reading through book one. I just read book one so I'm not going to reread it at the moment. I'm working my way through book two, but I will probably continue trying to be a part of that as the series progresses, as they progress with the series. But I definitely think, and going forward, I definitely know that it will be David Wiley because starting, well, it'll have already started by the time you this video goes up, but we will be reading The Hobbit in December, and we will be reading The Lord of the Rings in, starting in January, and we'll be reading The D'Artagnan Romances started in, starting in January. So all of those I will be doing with David Wiley, so he will definitely be the, 
one that I have buddy read the most with at that point. Won't Stop, a booktuber you haven't but want to buddy read with. I'm trying to think if there's a specific person that I would, that I genuinely want to read buddy, do a buddy read with, like, above all others. The one that comes to my mind would be Liam from Liam's Lyceum. I'm not sure if that's true and we will kind of be doing some of it because I think he's going to participate in... I think he's participating in Lord of the Rings, maybe. I'm not positive about that. He may be... I don't know. But he'd be a fun one to do a buddy read with. I'm sure we will eventually. It just kind of... our tastes seem to align a lot, so I think that would be one. And then... Yeah, I think that's about it. And then tag your buddies. This is the 10th and final prompt. And looking through my list, I wasn't sure one who had done this tag and two who did buddy reads. And so I kind of went to one of the newer booktubers that he's only got a couple videos out so far, but he's got a great personality. He's hilarious and he's part of the Wizardly Duo community. And that's Boiled Jellyfish. Go subscribe to him, I'll have him linked down in the description down below. He's great, but I tag you. If you want to do this tag, please do so, because it's it's fun. I don't know if you do any buddy reads, but it'd be fun and interesting to see your answers to this. So that is the buddy read tag. I believe this was created by everyone who reads it must converse. I will have their channel linked in the description down below as well. I think that's it for this tag. Thank you guys for watching Nerdite Adventure. We post videos every Monday and Thursday. We have our social medias linked in the description down below. And let's see, we will see you guys again soon. Stay warm.